In front of us, we have the 2020 Volkswagen Passat R-Line Edition. This is a nice, well-rounded German economy sedan, and I've been given the chance to live with this for the last two and a half weeks. I will be summing up my thoughts, telling you guys what it's like to daily drive this Volkswagen Passat. Thank you for joining me on the very first ever Baseline Fresh Review. On the exterior of this Passat R-Line, we have this nice white paintwork. The front grille has chrome, LED headlights, and a nice R-Line badge on the front. Style is subjective, so I won't speak too much to that, but it is a traditional sedan four-door shape. In the rear, we have a nice cavernous trunk. As you can see, pretty deep in there. I did do a grocery run, everything fit fine. I'm pretty sure you can drop the seats and swap over your winter tires and fit everything back there. Speaking of tires, this car is equipped with 17 inch alloy silver rims. I'll throw up some info here. You can pause it as you need to and read as you go. Coming along this nice body, this white paintwork really pops when it's clean. As we open up the engine bay, we can see this car is powered by a 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder engine. It makes about 170 horsepower, 200 pound-feet of torque. It's paired to a six-speed transmission, and it gets 25 MPG city and 36 highway. This front grille has some nice chrome bits and some more updated styling for this 2020 model year. The Passat nameplate has a lot of history behind it, and I'm very grateful I got a chance to review this car. Moving on to the interior of the Passat, nothing super special, but it is functional. We have black fabric throughout. As you can see in the rear, I fit pretty well. I am 5'11 and I have no troubles with headroom. We have some vents, some USB ports, and map pockets on the back of the seats. It's actually surprising that this is in an economy car, so points to Volkswagen for that. We also have a sun and moonroof and then your usual sunglass holder up at the top. As we open this driver's side door, there is enough storage for a large water bottle. You can see there are soft touch materials along the door armrest. There's a little bit of bright work and some fake wood trim, but it's all black and it's understated once again. You have fully automatic mirrors all around. As we go on to these pedals, they are not aluminum plated, they are just regular rubber pedals. Jumping into the actual seat, once again I am 5'11 and I find I have very comfortable leg room and very comfortable head room. Thanks for watching! If you like this content, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. This is Baseline Fresh. The engine in this car is actually surprisingly unrefined. For something with such an old nameplate, uh, you know, you would expect a lot and it would carry a lot of weight, but this turbo four-cylinder sounds very rattly, almost like a lawnmower or like a blender, more so than a car engine that you would be used to. You really do hear it when you have a cold start in the morning time. After it warms up, it gets a little bit smoother, but nothing uh, definitely doesn't affect the sound to make it sound pleasurable or good by any means. Steering input is, as I said earlier, light, but very easy to use. There's not much feedback from the wheels into the steering. Obviously that's up to personal preference, but I am not really a fan of driving setups like that. I want to know and feel communication between me and my car. Um, to give you an example, earlier in the week when we had icier conditions, I had no idea the grip levels or any of the feedback from the road uh, that I was getting from the wheels. It's only a couple seconds into slipping your wheels that you realize, hey, my car is slipping. You don't really feel that in the steering or in the tires or even in the chassis all too much. And um, 
while that might make for you know a smoother feeling ride when you're just going about your business in city driving when you're looking for communication in other aspects of that uh, experience you don't really get it seats are very comfortable if you're driving with this on the highway or on a long road trip they do not give me any sort of discomfort this R line, the driver's side, comes equipped with fully automated seats, electric power adjustment, there's also lumbar support. The passenger, however, does have a regular manual gear. Uh, you can pull on a small little plastic piece and adjust your forward and back that way. Visibility from the Volkswagen Passat is great. Lots of glass in here. The A-pillars are not very thick, so you can see they're not really blind, you know, there are no blind spots in that regard. Rear visibility is good. Uh, it's even if it wasn't equipped with blind spot monitoring, because there's so much glass in here, you can see a lot through your rear view mirror. You can see a lot when you turn your body and look through your uh, back mirrors and your rear mirror. So overall, a very nice spot to, uh, to be in for long drives. The gauges are very clear. In the center gauge here, we have a small little digital display with two analog gauges on either side of it. As far as quality of the materials go, everything is put together really nicely. There's uh, very, very little creaks and rattles or anything like that. Um, of course, it is a brand new car, uh, so you know something that was built recently shouldn't really have r r rattles and things like that. The knobs and switches all feel good. The steering wheel has a nice leather or a faux leather on it. It's a really nice width, feels good to grab and to hold. The buttons are nice, um, the trim work is really bright, and the materials in here don't seem too difficult to clean. Of course, originally being a detailing channel, that is one of the things I look at. You know, some of the hard plastics in here, I will give a pass because it's really easy to clean. And if this is your daily driver, uh, you know, it'll be getting years of use and abuse. Obviously, it'll get dirty over time, but having something that's nicer to clean and uh, easy in that regard is a big benefit. The dash materials are softer, well put together, the nice design of the straight cut uh, vents here look really good. There's a wood grain finish with sort of lines going through it in this trim. Um, I know some of the other trims just get a regular wood grain. In this case, I think it adds a little bit of sportiness, but it also looks a little cheaper. It would have looked better with maybe some carbonish, maybe even fake carbon, or if they left it as the plain black and gray wood, it might have looked a little bit better rather than these lines going through that look oddly not straight. They kind of look crooked. Um, as for the door work, fairly plain. The materials used, once again, nice soft touch around your armrest area and the top padding of the door. Um, there's this aluminum-ish finish for your door handle, illumination on your lock symbol, uh, automatic windows and mirrors and things like that. Feels nice, um, could be a little bit more plush, a little bit more higher quality, but for what it is, I'll give it a pass. As far as this cabin goes in general, it's up to par with the rest of it. It's competitive with the rest of your Hondas, your Toyotas, your Hyundais, but it's missing something. It doesn't stand above the rest. It doesn't wow you. It's just serviceable. It's just nothing special. So after living with this car for two and a half weeks and trying to extract everything I could from it, here's what I think. It's a perfectly adequate sedan in every way possible. It's just above average without really being super exciting. It gets the job done, and if you're the type of person that just wants to get from point A to point B reliably with no worries and a pretty quiet ride, then this is the car for you. 
Volkswagen has created something with a long-standing name and they know they have to deliver something reliable. They've done that here and while it might not be full of passion or excitement, still has enough to offer to be somewhat competitive in the modern sedan scene. It might not be something that I would buy myself, but I wouldn't be afraid to tell someone, hey, go test drive that and see if it works for you. This has been a Baseline Fresh Review. If you have a car that you'd like me to detail or review in the London, Ontario area, please don't be afraid to reach out on Google Maps or Gmail. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe. New videos every Friday. This is AJ Supal and Baseline Fresh.